Hello, I'm James Michael Tyler. Welcome to Book Look. Today we're in Hollywood with legendary 50 screen idol Tab Hunter to talk about his autobiography, Tab Hunter Confidential, The Making of a Movie Star. Tab, thank you very much for being with us today. So Tab, why did you write your autobiography now? I heard that uh, someone was going to do an unauthorized one, and I thought, we can't have that. Let's get it from the horse's mouth rather than some from horse's ass after I'm dead gone, you know. So I thought, no, we better get it out there. And I'm going to be pretty frank and say what happened. And, you know, you can take that as gospel. Uh, can you tell us a little about your on and off screen pairing up with Natalie Wood? She was signed to Warner Brothers, and I was signed to Warner Brothers. So they put us together, and I guess they thought they were going to have the next Myrna Loy and William Powell. <laughs> wrong but we did a few films together and we had a lot of fun I loved her because she was like a, she was like a cult finding its legs she was one moment she was a little girl the next moment she was a young woman Tab you write about so many famous people that you've known throughout your life in your book do you have any favorite stories about any of these people one of my favorite stories on um, was on with Lana Turner I was doing a film called The Sea Chase with John Wayne and Lana Turner the day Lana came out for the first day on the set she sat down right next to me and put herself right across my lap. But she was so sweet. And I said, and I didn't know what to do with my hands. And I said, you know, I've been a fan of yours since I was a kid. And I thought, oh, no. <laughs> How could I be so stupid? She was delightful, though. She really was. Well, Tab, not only were you a movie star, but you were also a pop star. Can you tell us a bit about that? I was on tour with Natalie for a film we did called The Burning Hills. And we were in Chicago. And we were be being interviewed by a huge disc jockey there by Howard Miller. He was major at that time. And he happened to say to me, did you ever think of a recording? And I said, no, but I'd always wanted to. So he said, I'd like to mention you to Randy Wood of Dot Records. And uh, Randy Wood, Dick Layton, and I went to the session with great musicians and cut Young Love. And that was in December. And by January, it was the number one song in the country. Sold well over a million and a half records. Then uh, Warner Brothers thought, huh, we've got him under contract. Maybe we should start a recording company, so they started Warner Brothers Records. Not many people know that. Wow. Wow. I, I think maybe you deserve a cut of that, Tab. I'm going to give them a call. <laughs> so, Tab, how did you engineer your comeback with the John Waters film, Polyester? I was doing a play in Chicago, and John called me uh, and said, would you be interested in doing a film for me? I said, well, uh, I would love to. My agent said, oh, no, 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 you don't want to do that. that will ruin your career. It's bad. You can't do this. You can't do that. And I thought, what have I got to lose, for God's sake? I'm working with a man who's really creative, a great deal of fun. Divine is one of my favorite leading ladies of all time. I mean, it was perfect. Of course, when I came back to Hollywood, my agents don't tell anybody you did a John Waters film, but I was thrilled when it was accepted so well. Uh, you know, in the mainstream. You write about how difficult it was being a gay star in the 1950s. How did you cope? The word gay wasn't used a lot then. You know, it was kind of like, you know, I just lived my life as best I could. And I think that's what one has to do. Geraldine Page said something to me years ago. I've never forgotten it. I said, Jerry, people love you. You're so fortunate. You're such a fine actress. I said, they hate my guts. And she grabbed hold of my arm and she said, let me tell you something. Just remember this. If people don't like you, don't get their, your message, that's their bad taste. Just do the best you possibly can. Well, Tab, thank you so much for being with us today. It's been an honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. The book is Tab Hunter Confidential, The Making of a Movie Star. And this is a fascinating autobiography about an absolutely fascinating gentleman. And you can find out even more about Tab Hunter by going to tabhunter.com. Until next time, I'm James Michael Tyler. Goodbye. I remember we were doing a scene in Polyester where there's a terrible car wreck, and this head rolls to our feet. John said, now you can just pick up the head during the scene. I thought, John, what if I just float over my shoulder in the bushes? He said, oh, I love it, I love it.